You know, a lot of people got excited that Disney Plus was going to be redoing the Percy Jackson stuff as a series. Now, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I like the Percy Jackson movies, mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. the first one. The second one was okay, but I really did like the first one. And I know a lot of Percy Jackson fans were like, yes, they need to correct those awful movies. But I actually, yes. I, I don't care. I don't apologize for it either. <laughs> I like those movies, but they're getting going on that. They got the uh, kid from the Adam Project, uh, Scoble? Walker Scoble. Walker, Walker Scoble, who was incredible in that movie. Mm -hmm. Didn't do a bad job either in Secret Headquarters, even though the movie itself was He did wasn't a lot with a little in that movie. He did a lot with a little. So he's our new Percy Jackson. Well, if you're a fan of the WWE Attitude Era, we got some good news for you today because the Percy Jackson series on Disney Plus just cast Aries. And that is good Canadian kid. Edge. Hell yeah. Edge, also his real name is Adam Copeland. Adam mm -hmm. Copeland. Uh, again, good Canadian kid. He's been cast as Ares. Uh, this comes to us from the folks at CBR that says, uh, three new stars have joined the cast of Disney Plus's Percy Jackson, the Olympian series, including WWE's Edge as Ares. Edge, whose real name is Adam Copeland, has been announced alongside Suzanne Cryer and Jessica Parker Kennedy, as reported by Variety. Copeland will appear in a recurring role as a series version of the Greek god Ares, a devilish charmer who tends to sow so chaos around him. So, listen, I don't watch a lot of wrestling anymore other than the big pay-per-views, WrestleMania. We're going to WrestleMania this year. Uh, WrestleMania, maybe SummerSlam, one or two of the other ones. But Edge is a dude that I've watched for a long, long time. The, the Rated X Superstar. The Rated R Superstar. The Rated R Superstar. Sorry, I keep saying Rated X. The Rated R Superstar. <laughs> Filthy. I mean, him and Christian, like one of the greatest tag teams yeah. of all, maybe the most popular tag team of all time in the WWE. They were terrific. I still remember, I watched the pay-per-view, what was it, like a year ago or a year and a half ago, where Christian came back and then... Christian and Edge were in the ring together. Yeah. And I remember I saw this meme where you just see this, this little girl walking and says, Daddy, why are you crying? It's like that that was men everywhere. When Edge and Christian were in the ring together again, there were tears, man tears all across the world. Anyway, he's been doing, dipping his foot in acting for actually a lot of years now. Mm -hmm. And he's been actually doing a lot of like classwork and acting as well too. So what can I say? I'm happy for the guy. It's again, it's not a big lead role in it. It's going to be a recurring character in it. So I'm happy to hear this. Uh, Chris, I knew the person probably most happy in this <laughs> office today about this news was going to be you. What do you think about this? I'm so hyped. I love this. Friggin' love Edge. <laughs> oh, coming off of Raw last week, too, when he was not going to tap out dealing with the judgment, but then they threatened his wife, Beth mm. Phoenix. And that was <laughs> not okay, the judgment. It was not okay. I think he's great. He was on seasons five and six of Vikings, and he did phenomenal work as flat dose. He was so good. His dialect work was on point. Obviously, physicality was on point as well. He's so talented. And, you know, he's been talking about leaving wrestling. He's 48 years old. He literally well, broke his neck. He was gone neck. for a decade or yeah, something like I mean, that. Yeah, he had a horrific uh, injury that he came back from. And I'm so excited to see him do this new chapter in his career because, you know, that transition from wrestling to acting works out great for some folks not so much for others. And I'm so glad that he's on this trajectory to be a really, really great, hopefully household name as an actor and not just as a phenomenal wrestler. You know, he is, I said for a while, he's the Ryan Reynolds of the world of wrestling. Cause I, Ooh. I've, I've watched some like behind, like some YouTube videos behind things where him and some other re wrestlers are not in character. And they're like, he, he did this one series where he like would bring other wrestlers out to his cabin up in Canada for like a week. And, Aww. and like, his just his natural way of talking and communicating. He is the Ryan Reynolds of the WWE. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this. What do you think? First of all, who are you? What? How do you know these things? She's a big I'm wrestling a fan. Too. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I mean, like multitude. I mean, it's a blind I'm spot. I'm a Disney for me. princess who watches wrestling, baby. Well, that's why I, I like was you. built that's in a lab. Like that's why you're on this show. <laughs> I just I'm constantly impressed by the things I don't know that you know. Aw, thanks, so, friend. That's fantastic. Thanks, uh, I think. Look. You know, like the His Dark Materials series was better than the Golden Compass movie that they made. So I am actually excited for this series. I think it will exceed what they gave us with the films. I I don't know much about this gentleman. Oh, I but he certainly looks the part. 
Oh. And and, no and judging by the enthusiasm of my two esteemed colleagues here, I can honestly say I'm that much more excited for a show that I was actually looking forward to already. Okay, I, I think Ray is literally shaking. Well, I, have so. just, I have to say, you guys don't remember the first thing he was in? Because I know we went to the theaters to actually watch it, and it was he was only in it for like a minute. It was Highlander, Endgame. He was one of the first, the two. Uh, uh, Nobody remembers watching Highlander. Endgame. But we, went, in I, we had no idea yeah. what Highlander was. Is Mario Van Peebles in that one? No, that was, that was the uh, third one. Okay. But it was, it was the opening scene. And then I think we, we just all said, hey, should we leave? We just went. <laughs> Sounds about right for edge. Highlander. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he was also, uh, he was a villain of the week in Flash. Yep. He appeared in Flash as well. And, of course, his, his turn on Vikings is probably the best thing yeah. that he had done. I mean, that's when he just showed that he had solid chops. Yeah, or because at least it, he, he had gotten better. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. So, hey, I'm super happy for this news. I really like this guy, and I hope it works out well. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Edge has joined the, the world of demigods in Percy Jackson on Disney+. Plus. How do you feel about that? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Raycon. Now you guys know I've been using Raycon as a part of my morning routine for a long time now. I love getting up, getting on my treadmill, pulling out my iPad and watching my favorite tech YouTubers like Linus Tech Tips, another good Canadian kid by the way. And my Raycon wireless earbuds come through for me every time. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips with the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge. Trust me, my Raycons give me eight hours of playtime time and a 32 hour battery life. And one of the best things about Raycons is that they are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycons everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. And when I'm on my treadmill, the earbud tap functions help me stay hands-free and the noise isolation is fantastic. So guys, go to buyraycon.com today and use the promo code Campia15 to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's code Campia15 at buyraycon.com to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com, code Campia15.